Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this video is just going to be a really quick tutorial for those that are just starting out, kind of like me, on how to clean a mod, an ESP in this case, for Fallout 4. Uh, we're going to be using FO4 Edit, and it's really kind of just a basic cleaning. I'm not going to go in depth on a whole bunch of things. Even I'm starting to figure it out. But this will just kind of give you the idea of how to do it. So here I have my mod, which has not been cleaned. And we'll start with its size. I'll just stick that over to the side here. So we got 203K, all right? So basically, we're going to clean this of all uh, ITM references, which are uh, identical to master, which means that all the references that are in my mod that are the same as what's in the master file really don't need to be there. It's extra work. And if it references something that changes uh, later or that another mod uh, accesses, then you can have problems. So you really want to clean it down to only containing references and changes that it that don't exist in the master file. Hope that made some sense. <laughs> so. Basically, we're going to open up FO4 Edit, and we don't need anything. We're just going to do, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me do this again on a second. Uh, so we'll rename this to, whoops. Tutorial, go into data and data. Okay, so tutorial, giving tree, and it's 204K. So now we'll go in here, none here. Just this one, we don't need to check out Fallout 4 ESM, we're just doing the ESP. Hit OK and let it load all the stuff from the mod. Okay, so rather than searching through by hand, which I guess you could do, and you can see there are a number of things that, uh, so for example, let's say like here in this column, it's showing what the data for this object is in the master file and what it is for the mod, which in this case I deleted a concrete decal. So the mod says it's not there. And of course, compared to the master, uh, which says it is. So here it's not, it, it's not even in the original, it's actually added in, it's placed in, which wasn't there to begin with. That's what all of these are. So the easy way to do this is to right click, apply filter for cleaning. You'll see messages here. Okay, process records. We see 1.5 million. Uh, we'll do it again just to, just to show you. You can do that as many times as you want, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so that would be one point, well, almost 1.6 million records. Now that's for everything, including uh, Fallout 4 ESM, 4 EXE, and my mod. So here are things that have changed. And obviously, like I said, things that haven't. So now we're just gonna go right click, remove identical to master records. And remember, I explained what that does a second ago. So if you get back on the messages tab, you can watch what happens here. It'll say, do you, are you sure? Yes. And hit yes. Okay, so here are the list of things that uh, were identical that it removed. 27 records, and here they are right here. Uh, so various things that 
existed in the mod that also existed in the master file and they didn't actually need to be there. So as it says here, we removed 27 records and the mod itself contains 1,924. So not a a huge change but it's pretty decent so then what you want to do is go hit X up here and in this case I'm not going to back up I have that unchecked you simply say yes there you go so now we're going to go back into here and now you'll notice we'll put these two side by side so you can compare So before it was 203k, now it's 184k. So we've reduced a fairly decent amount and uh, that should help make it a little better, easier to work with, uh, less issues and other things. So you're going to want to do this to your mod fairly often. Uh, you definitely want to have it clean. Uh, I haven't I haven't personally run into issues with my mod up until the point that I did the clean, but uh, I may have just gotten lucky. I only have seven mods that I use for Fallout 4. So with that, hope that was helpful to some of you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. Like, subscribe, give a suggestion for another video, and I will check you guys later.